Mason Mount poised for a new role at Man United under Ruben Amorim. Manchester United midfielder Mason Mount could feature in a new role under manager Ruben Amorim. The England international has had a tough start to his Red Devils career. He has managed less than 1,000 minutes of regular playing time due to multiple injuries. Mount had a bright preseason with the club earlier in the summer, but his injury woes continued at the start of the campaign with two separate setbacks. The 25-year-old recently returned to full team training and he could make his first appearance for the club since September under new manager Amarim. Amarim is already excited to work with the former Chelsea star and in our opinion, the Portuguese could get the best out of the midfielder with his formation. The 39-year-old is expected to operate with a 3-4-2-1 or 3-4-3 setup with the Red Devils going forward. Mount had his best moments at Chelsea in a similar tactical formation under manager Thomas Tuchel. The Champions League winner played as one of the inverting wingers behind the main striker. He registered 13 goals and 16 assists in Tuchel's first full season as the Blues manager. The £29 million rated star has featured from the number 8 role at United. He has hardly played as a number 10 with Bruno Fernandes being an undisputed starter. This could change under Amarim with Mount partnering Fernandes in the final third. The likes of Alejandro Garnacho and Ahmad Diallo could operate as wingbacks. Marcus Rashford's defensive work has come into question in the past and we believe the United graduate could be a genuine option to lead the attack under Amarim. Mount could be back in the matchday squad when United face Ipswich Town in the top flight this weekend. It is left to be seen whether he starts at Portman Road. Victor Gyokeris opens door to Man United transfer under Ruben Amorim. Manchester United need to strengthen their attacking options and may turn to the transfer market next summer to secure a new striker. Ruben Amorim has joined Man United as their manager, and his favourite players may follow him to Old Trafford. Victor Gyokeris is among the players Amorim has evolved into a star and is heavily linked with a move to United. The 26-year-old has responded to the transfer rumours. He said, via afotibolscanalan.se it's very sad that he's leaving, but we understand his decision. He has meant a lot, to me, considering that he gave me that chance and that he made me develop so much. He, Amarim, probably has some strikers there already, so we'll see. No, he hasn't, contacted me. It's fun but nothing I attach any importance to, because it's talk and nothing concrete. That you get an important role and that you get to play, conditions for a transfer. That's the most important thing. There are other things that also need to be in place, but I'll take it when it comes. Gyokeris has been in sensational form this season, bagging 23 goals and 4 assists in 18 games. Amarim wants his strikers to be intelligent with their movement off the ball, looking for opportunities to run in channels and take on defenders. The Swedish international has all these traits, which helped him excel under the Portuguese manager. United have spent over £100 million in the past two summers to sign Rasmus Hodgland and Joshua Xerxes. The former has shown potential and could thrive under Amarim. He has a knack for exploiting space with quick sprints and is clinical up front. However, he is still very raw and needs support from another world-class striker to share the burden of scoring goals. Xerxes was signed with the same expectations but has been very poor in his five-month stay at United. Amarim wants intensity from his players, and Xerxes falls short in that area when leading the line. Gyokeris's comments suggest he is open to a move next summer. He had the opportunity to confirm his stay at Sporting beyond this season, but he chose not to. He expressed gratitude to Amarim for helping him evolve into a more complete striker. If the new United boss makes a move for him next summer, it will be difficult for Gyokeris to turn down the opportunity. The phenomenal striker has a £83 million release clause in his contract. United may have to offload one of their strikers to make room for Gyokeris. Three Eric Ten Hag signings Ruben Amarim could exit Man United. Manchester United are stepping into a new era with Ruben Amarim poised to write the next exciting chapter in the club's storied history. United backed Eric Ten Hag with heavy investments but many of his high-profile signings have struggled to make an impact at Old Trafford. Amarim is known for his preference for a dynamic 3-4-2-1 formation. 
he must make some key personnel adjustments to shape the team in his vision. Amaram has to make ruthless decisions and axe three players signed under Ten Hag's watch. United paid £82 million to sign Anthony from Ajax in 2022. However, he has struggled to deliver at United, bagging just 12 goals and 5 assists in 87 appearances. Anthony's performances over the last two years raised doubts about his ability to succeed with United. It would be better for both parties to part ways in the summer. Joshua Xerxes joined the Red Devils with high hopes last summer, but his performances have been underwhelming. The £36.5 million centre forward marked his United debut with a goal but has since failed to find the net in 16 appearances. Amaram wants his striker to be direct, pacey and capable of running the channels. These traits are not Xerxes' strong suit. The Dutchman is more known for his link-up play. The next six months will reveal whether he can adapt to Amram's style or if his time at United will end early. Christian Eriksen could be the third player on this list. The midfielder has displayed his creative vision this season, but the Portuguese wants his players to play intense football. Eriksen does not fit that role in the center of the park. Fabrizio Romano drops fresh update on Christopher Nkunku to Man United speculation. Fabrizio Romano has dropped a fresh update on Manchester United's reported interest in signing Chelsea playmaker Christopher Nkunku in January. The Red Devils have struggled in front of goal in the Premier League this campaign. They have netted only 12 times in their opening 11 games. It was recently reported that United have made an inquiry for Nkunku but he won't come on the cheap with the Blues likely to demand £52 million. In an exclusive update on his YouTube channel, Romano has now revealed that United have not made any contact with Chelsea regarding Kunku. There is appreciation for the Frenchman's talents, but the club have not discussed the possibility of making new signings at the start of next year. New manager Ruben Amarim has the primary focus on intensity which has been mentioned during his initial conversations with the club's hierarchy. The Portuguese is expected to assess the performance of the squad first before considering whether to reinforce with attacking additions in 2025. While Amarim does not have full authority over transfers, he will have some kind of input on the club's plans for the forthcoming transfer windows. The 27-year-old was one of the most sought-after attackers during his time at RB Leipzig. Chelsea made a huge statement by beating several clubs to his signature. Nkunku had a forgettable debut season due to injuries last term. He has stayed unscathed in the current campaign, but has barely started in the Premier League. The Frenchman is the top scorer for the Blues with 10 goals to his name, but manager Enzo Maresca has not started him in the top flight since the middle of August. The former Leipzig man is said to be frustrated over his situation and we believe United can capitalize on the same and bring him to Old Trafford at the turn of the year. Nkunku has the ability to play anywhere in the final third and in central midfield. Under Amarim, he could slot as one of the inverting wingers behind the main striker in a 3-4-2-1 formation. He could be a dream partner for Bruno Fernandes in our view. United are unlikely to afford a permanent transfer in January. A loan deal with an option to buy could be considered.